Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I'm going to show you an attempt at making a lyrics video in kind of that um, hardcore screamo style. You see a lot of pop punk bands, independent artists doing these lyrics videos with animated text and all that kind of stuff, but really simple videos. I wanted to see if Reaper could do it um, without having to go outside of Reaper for anything. So I only did the first verse of this song. The song is Yours by Night Verses off their second album. You collapse the sky beneath the ground And the dead start shaking up I can touch you in the night And it hurts me And now let's dive in and look at the actual project to see what I did. The first thing I did was drop the music into the project and then made a bunch of empty tracks for uh, putting in my text items. Then I listened to the song and dropped in a marker wherever each word started or wherever there was a phrase that I thought would look good as its own piece of text that pops in. So that's what these first 18 or so markers are. So text appears in this section and then disappears by the end. And then it's a new section here. And I can kind of just focus on one small section at a time and it made it a little more manageable. All these items here in this color are empty MIDI items. And I use them to drop in the video processor effect. Just go to all plugins and up at the top is video processor. Drag and drop that onto the MIDI item which gives you this window. And then I'm using my preset text overlay with drop shadow. It's the same as this essential text overlay, which I've previously released. It's something you can download as part of my newsletter. Uh, this is a newer version that basically has a, a additional drop shadow action. I'm not actually using the drop shadow part, so you could just use this. Or if you don't have my preset, you could use the title text overlay preset that comes built in with Reaper. The basics of this is you enter your font here. I'm using Crimes Time 6. I downloaded it from one of the many free font sites that are out there. Under text equals, you'd enter in your lyric. So I'm entering just the word you, and I want that to last from here till here. I positioned it with the X and Y controls here. So basically, once I have this done once, I'm just duplicating this item by holding down Command and dragging it down, resizing it to uh, hit my marker for the start and endpoints. Then I'm changing the text, keeping the same font, changing the text for each word that is said. On some of these words, I'm doing some automation. So this is changing the uh, y position to make this text pop up. And I'm going to cycle through one frame at a time here. What I found to be the easiest way to do automation where it pops up was to set my global automation mode to right. Then I will touch the parameter, move it to the starting position, then move over to the end position, and then move it to the new setting. I want it to end here. And then I set my write mode back to trim or read. And then it will just play that back. For some of these other ones, like uh, in the night, I'm modifying both X and Y position. This would probably work a little bit better if I had a different item for each word. So in the night as three separate files. And then I have to automate each one. For this part, I only edited a couple things, and then I just copied and pasted these envelope points, uh, which was a little bit tricky. You have to select the time, and then you have to select envelope lane, and copy, and then paste. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't always want to paste where you put it. There you go. So I ran into that error so many times doing that kind of thing. And here at the end, and it hurts me, it fades out. And that's simply changing the opacity value, which is text opacity here. And it fades it out to black. 
or whatever layer is below it. So I've got my music here. I've got a few tracks of MIDI items for the text. And then I have a couple layers for my background. I started out as having these layers as a background, but then I wanted them to actually add some texture to this text. And I found that having them on top as the top layer with a opacity of 50% worked a lot better. Reaper wasn't able to play it back perfectly like that. I'll just turn off the effects so it looks like this. Actually, I'll just play them from the Media Explorer. So here's the rainbow sparkle effect. Just looks like this. I'm not sure how this was filmed. You know, it's colored lights. And then I've got the ice effect here, which is actually a block of ice up against a camera, and then they're shining a flashlight through it. So kind of a neat effect, and I thought that that works really well for these kind of lyrics videos. You need some sort of background element, and if it moves, it's even better. It adds a lot more interest to the video. For processing, I've got the auto item volume slash fade for video, which is just uh, uh, this one, item fades effect video. That's just because if I was doing the whole song, I'd have to loop some of these items, and this automatically takes this fade and it converts that to opacity for the item. And then I've got the my essential video controls thing. That's this one here. But you could also use track capacity, zoom, pan. You just set the opacity to half for this. And then this other one, the same first two controls. And the last one, I'm adding in a uh, color adjustment layer, which changes the saturation, adds in a lot of blue, a little bit of green, and takes out some of the red. So before and after. And if I drop these below the text layers, looks like this with white text is not getting that blue tint, which I liked. And I can also set this one to opacity of one. So it looks like this instead. Whenever you're changing the opacity, it's going to really drop frames badly. You're not going to be able to play it back perfectly. Um, or not going to be able to preview it perfectly. And that's why I tend to have my, um, my video effects turned off until I need them. So I turn them off after I set them the way I like and turn them on again right before I render, just so that I can preview things uh, smoothly. I can play back the song smoothly, see all the text popping in where I want them, and all that kind of stuff. So even this looks OK. Not perfect, but it's a good start. And you can certainly do a lot more. This is the point I got to within the first hour of uh, working on this song or this project. And I think it turned out pretty well. So can you make lyrics videos in Reaper? Absolutely. I think this turned out pretty well. I uh, hope you agree. And it's all right if you don't. For basic videos like this, you don't need to rent After Effects. You don't need to learn another program. Um, editing this stuff is pretty simple, if not tedious, but I think the results are pretty good. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.